A little while back, I actually got something very similar to this Keychot stand mixer, aka this is a dough making machine, a dough mixer. I got something just like this, although it was the very basic principle of this same device. And I was a little bit upset about that. I was like, what's the difference between using this and a stand mixer because it doesn't really do anything else? So with this one, it actually does the stuff that I was saying the other one didn't do. Pretty similar to how a bread maker will actually make dough. So this thing not only mixes your ingredients together into a nice, soft, fluffy dough, depending on your recipe, but it also heats it up to allow it to ferment and rise very quickly. So that's going to cut down so much time, so much effort, and... Hopefully it's going to be amazing, just like when I make dough in a bread maker. Now, I know what you're thinking. If you already have a bread maker, why do you even need one of these, especially if you already have a stand mixer as well? Well, first of all, it has a larger capacity than a bread maker. And second of all, compared to a stand mixer, this thing will actually get hot. So as you can see, this one makes a lot more sense than the one that doesn't get hot because you might as well just use your stand mixer at that point. Although, like I said, with the other one that didn't get hot, it is an airtight seal, so it does keep your dough from drying out. So that's a plus there if you don't want to use a stand mixer. But if you're going to go for one of these and make dough, I would definitely recommend getting the one with the fermentation option. It just makes sense. So with all that being said, that was a mouthful. I went on a bit of a tangent because I'm serious about my dough. Let's see what we got. Inside the box, we have a user guide, the airtight lid, the mixing paddle, as well as the actual machine. We don't need this box, but we need the machine. And see, as you can see, very big mixing bowl right here. A lot larger than a bread maker. I'll tell you that much right now. Also, like I said with the last one, I wanted black and got blue because that's all they had. They got black for this one. So we're looking at a stainless steel bowl with a very large five quart capacity so you can make a ton of dough in this thing. Ugh, suction's really strong here. Cable is decent length for a countertop. Alright, we got it plugged into some power. It is ready to go. So as you can see, it's a very simple operation here. We have dough time on the left. Ferment time on the right, start and stop in the middle. Very easy, we have two LED lights as well along with the LED screen. So on the left side, we're gonna start with dough time. So you can check dough time. It starts at five minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes, 13 minutes, 15 minutes. You can choose which one you want. And then, as you can see, it's lighting up because we're on dough time. Then we're gonna switch to ferment time. As you can see, it stopped flashing because it's already set and ready to go. Ferment time starts at 45 minutes by default, one hour, one hour and 15 minutes, one hour and 30 minutes, one hour and 45 minutes, and 10 minutes, and 20 minutes, and 30 minutes, and 45 minutes. So no matter how much time you want to mix it, how much time you want it to ferment, it'll automatically do whatever time you want right here back to back. So it'll mix the dough and right after, warm it up, let it ferment. Ooh, that yeast is going to ferment. And then after you do that, you press start and you're ready to go. Pretty cool, very simple process, set it and forget it. So with that being said, this thing is extremely easy to use and set up. I'm gonna get my ingredients in here. We're gonna make some pizzas, how about that? All right, so now the moment of truth. Got all my ingredients just thrown in here. We're gonna do 15 minute dough time along with, oh God, I have to go through the whole thing. 45 minute ferment time. Let's get this airtight lid on. Right, nice and tight everything's on and now let's go so in about an hour or so we'll have some pizza dough it just started picking up speed All right, so it looks like once it hits one minute, it actually switches into seconds. To begin the final countdown. All right, we're done. It just hit 
the 15 minute mark it's done mixing it did a very good job we have a nice ball of dough very wet it is a little bit sticky on the edges of the bowl of course that's to be expected with a 70 percent hydration dough although the paddle is actually very very good when it comes to not sticking i see the dough just falling right off of it it's pretty cool so now we have 45 minutes of it fermenting so this is going to start warming up and allowing it to rise so take a one last look at what the dough looks like now and it should double in size or maybe even more by the time it's done fermenting i'm so excited and we're back 45 minutes later oh man that's some nice sticky dough right there it's about time to portion these out make some pizzas and chow down i mean this thing doubled up it's pretty nice it's nice like this thing isn't even warm I guess just inside it gets warm so that's actually really cool and I'm ready it's pizza time all right so as far as the pizza went it was delicious of course I made it now granted I had a little bit of help but I, I made it and it's amazing every time I make a pizza muy delicioso but when it comes to this machine, I'm actually liking it a lot more than the other one, and that's mainly because of the fermentation option, so that way you have all the steps all in one, just set it, forget it, and you're ready to go. It's very easy to clean, just the big five quart capacity bowl, the lid, and the paddle. The paddle non-stick works very well. The bowl, you know, a little bit sticky depending on how sticky your dough is, to be expected. Now when I was taking a look at this, they did say that it was quiet at 50 decibels, but it definitely passed 80 decibels while it's working, so not sure what's going on there, but you know, it's to be expected with a mixer. The options are great for both mixing and kneading as well as the fermentation. You can set it to whatever you need it to be at and you can do it again if you need it to be a little bit longer. It's very cool. It's definitely gonna take some trial and error to figure out exactly what time you wanna do for each individual recipe, but it's working very well and I really like this thing. Big capacity, it works well at mixing up all the dough and plus it ferments it with the heat. What more can I ask for when it comes to making dough?